anchored the rope and went down into the pitch darkness. Finally, I touched ground. I was in a sewer composed of narrow passages. There were channels of rotten water and narrow sidewalks, and the typical pipes and waste everywhere. It smelled like shit. The putrid air was barely breathable, but once my lungs got used to that stench, I started to investigate my surroundings. First off, I had to check the depth of the water. I dipped the severed arm in the water to calculate the depth. As soon as I did, it started shaking. When I pulled it back out, there was nothing but bones. I couldn't explain what I saw, but my instincts told me this water might be dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. I had trouble getting where I needed to go. In fact, I had to build a floating platform to get through. Worse yet, everything down there was out for my blood. Sergeant Roscoe here. What? Escaped? How? Through the sewers? Shit! No, don't send anyone. If he hides like a rat, he will die like a rat. Switch on the shredders! Huh. Did I just hear a rat? Get out from your hole, you cowardly vermin! Look what the cat dragged in. The escaped prisoner. You've got some big balls coming here, rodent. The situation was Fubar. He was armed and hunkered down behind his desk. I was screwed. So what did you do? In five nanoseconds, I scrutinized the room and noticed a very subtle detail. There is a large globe in the middle of the room. I already had what I needed to take him down. defeated. Later, they would be a pain in my ass, but they'd end up saving it, too. Hold on, Mr. Fox. What exactly did you say attacked you? What you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? That question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. I dwelled on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs, I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? That a woman, hell-bent on becoming a mother, 
was unable to afford standard artificial insemination. So she sought illicit services on the black market instead. And you know how the black market is. They scam you with any fake shit. She took up an offer from a back alley doctor who did the operation as requested. But she had yet to find out that she was actually fertilized with piranha sperm. Jesus, poor woman. Months passed and she became the mother of a school of human piranha hybrids. The horrified woman flushed them down the toilet. They ended up in the sewers, where they would keep reproducing, creating a colony of human piranha hybrids. The same ones that attacked me. As I proceeded down the sewer sidewalk, I noticed a path nearby I couldn't reach. Why not? It was across the sewer water. What was the distance to the other side? Around 10 yards. Hold on, weren't those channels narrow? You're contradicting yourself, Mr. Fox. That's because the sewer fumes were psychotropic and messing with my senses. I see. I realized I needed something to cross to the other side. Son, do you copy? Copy, Colonel. I've been trying to contact you. There was no signal down in the sewers. Have you already escaped? Where are you now? Not much progress. I should still be near the prisons. Are you kidding me, Fox? You're still too damn close. You need to travel farther before coming topside. I know, but there are sewer channels blocking my way. Then build something to cross them, Fox. Find some materials. Where are you exactly? I think I'm in the office of some sort of officer. You should search for classified files about Operation Jericho. Take them with you. They're up to something. I don't know what. We must find out. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded. But anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found some documents. Operation Jericho. Looks like it talks about... an attack plan? Attack? Against what, son? I have no idea. It's encoded. I'll keep searching for more documents, Colonel. Operation Jericho is a rumor only known by a few officers and, of course, the enemy. How did you find out about it, Mr. Fox? As I told you, Colonel Harris asked me to search for files about it. The deceased Colonel Harris, yes. I had the feeling that this officer didn't believe anything I was saying. <laughs> it's understandable. I don't believe you either. Oh, really? Well, Miss Incredulous, why ask me to tell you the story? Well, I like the way you tell it. And since there are no theaters here. Great. So, what was Operation Jericho? Turns out that location was actually a clandestine base, with a company codenamed X-Army, commanded by someone named General X. They were planning a large-scale attack against Allied posts. And that plan was? Be patient. That comes later. Hey! Don't be like that! Come on, tell me! The officer that was taking my statement was also curious about what I knew. And what exactly do you know about Operation Jericho, Mr. Fox? That it was a hell of an operation. 
Harris and I knew the details thanks to the files we found. Correction, I found. Again, how much did you exactly find out? Let me continue. You'll find out later. Who's there? Damn cat. Who's there? Another cat! Oh, another cat. <laughs> Damn T-Rexes. Hold on, weren't they extinct? It's Mike! Fuck, Mike, you scared me. I'm sorry, everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Hey, a coin! Heading south, I ran into a couple of trucks. That was my big chance to escape. But first, I had to get rid of the guards. Hey, a coin! I heard something. What was that? Mike! Once the guards were history, I examined the engine. truck I took a glance and my worst fears came true it was an old diesel engine with no ad blue or particulate filter what does that mean running away in that truck would have polluted the area with nitrogen oxides and microparticles and I wasn't willing to sacrifice the environment for a hasty retreat so I armed myself with patience and I kept searching for another way to escape well, Jesse, I didn't know you were so eco-friendly. Well, it's nothing, really. Hey, a coin! Hey! A coin! 
Mr. Fox, I'm still waiting on an explanation for the noose. Later, officer. Heading east, I ran into a hound. A puppy. You didn't hurt it, did you? A puppy? That monster was the size of a horse. Even so, I wanted to see if it was friendly. Puppy, puppy, are you a good boy? But that hound was trained to kill. Its bloody eyes looked at me like I was a well-done steak. not looking. That bastard won't move. He's over here all the time. Fuck. Hold on. I have an idea. Yo, Mike. 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 Shut up. I got pictures of your mom naked in the bathtub. Want to buy him? Real cheap. You bastard. I'm done with his shit. Just go shoot that bastard. I'm already on my way. Run in Nice. Thanks for the help. Thank you for knocking out that dick. By the way, name's Jesse Fox. I'm Mike. Hold on. Don't tell me the prisoner was also named Mike. Uh, no. Hold on. It wasn't Mike. I'm Robert. Let's see if I can get you out of here, Robert. Thanks, Fox, but no. If you escape, they'll shoot you. And I'd rather be jailed than buried. You don't have a radio, do you? Hold on, I'll get one for you. Hey, a coin! Did you get that radio? Yeah, here you go. Thanks, Fox. I'll call you if I find out anything. If you want to talk, use channel two. Okay, now get out of here before the guards show up. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. Hey, Robert, you don't look like a military man. Of course not. I'm a photographer. Hold on. You're not a paparazzi, are you? <laughs> That's right. A paparazzi. And one of the worst kind, too. Damn, Robert, you must have fucked up royally to end up locked in here. I've seen things I wasn't meant to, Fox. Making the platform, I had what I needed to cross the sewer channels to freedom.
Hold on, Mr. Fox. The platform just vanished. What? Of course not. I picked it up every time I got to the other side. You didn't mention that. Sounded like it vanished. Well, I didn't feel like I had to mention something so obvious. Then should I write down that you picked up the platform every time you used it? Yes, of course. Well, Mr. Fox, please continue with your story. Mr. Fox, the noose. Later. Don't try my patience, Mr. Fox. How many rats were down there? Hell yeah. The sewer was infested with assassin rats. They were everywhere, rushing to devour me alive. It was horrible. Felt like I was a huge chunk of cheese. <laughs> Thank you. 
Inside some debris, I found an old flamethrower. It was in bad condition, but I could fix it. The worst part was the fuel tank was savagely chewed apart. It couldn't be saved, so I set out to replace it. After the repairs, my flamethrower was ready. The tubes were covered in rust, so I took great care to avoid overheating it. Must have been very lonely down there. Nah, I had some company. And that 
thing had tentacles? Well, now that you mention it... It had four pairs of tentacles. thing dead, but then my luck turned south. The old flamethrower broke apart as I continued the fight, so I finished it the old-fashioned way, with my fists. Boss defeated. Mr. Fox, the gallows noose, tell me how you got it. I'll tell you later. Enough! You've tried my patience, Mr. Fox. Tell me right now how you got that damn noose, or I'll kick your ass and throw you in isolation. Okay, okay. No need for that. I was just about to tell you. I tore out strands of my own hair, one by one, and braided them into a noose. I also applied wax from my own ears to hold it all together. Is that really how you got the noose? Of course not. I lied to the officer. Why? Because no one threatens me to tell the truth. Then how did you really get the noose? I'll tell you later. 